Hi, Valder. Good day. Is this Stephen Weber? It is. Is this Valder Beebe? It is. Thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas. My Thought pleasure. I was going to miss you, but I am just so excited that you stopped by or you're here today to talk about Helix, one of my favorite new shows. Thank I you. thank you so much. Oh, you're you very know, welcome. Well, in case my audience doesn't know, I didn't know until I had to do actually do it for homework. I had seen the commercial, but then I watched it, and right. CDC is one of my most interesting places in my life. Don't ask me why, but I think it is. Well, that's, and, uh, that sounds incredibly provocative. I, how can uh, we not ask? Team, <laughs> what? My team tells me I need to get a life. Oh, wow, but, okay. <laughs> but I love, you know, th what the CDD, CDC is supposed to do, yep. and I found out they don't do a lot of things that I thought they did. I thought they made laws, and I thought they could tell you to do this, but I found out a lot. And your show is very interesting also. So tell me about Helix. Well, Helix is about uh, your, your pet organization, the CDC, and um, they go out to investigate um, an, a, a mysterious uh, outbreak of a disease on, um, on, a, on an island someplace. Uh, and uh, someplace, isn't that vague? And on this <laughs> island is, a, is an old kind of fellowship. Um, one might call it a cult. And, uh, and there, there's been an outbreak of a particularly nasty uh, disease. And uh, the cult is led by um, incredibly charismatic, uh, still handsome at a uh, really in good shape guy, played by me, oddly enough. And, um, and uh, they've got to find a way to stop the outbreak of this disease. And as it is Helix on Sci-Fi... Uh, it is messy and scary and uh, occasionally gruesome. Well, is that what you meant? I think in the promo you say this place is not what you thought it was. That, some, somebody says Somebody that. says this is not, yes, because what looks like a fairly benign um, uh, kind of fellowship, it takes place in this beautiful abbey, this uh, kind of cathedral-like setting. Uh, and there's lots of secrets, um, uh, lots of... Uh, Lots of interesting complications that uh, those fans of Helix, and there's a huge fan base, very loyal fan base, would begin to uh, understand and recognize. Uh, and for the rest of the viewers, new viewers, um, it'll be a very enticing mystery. Okay, so you're in a new season? Yes, this is, this is season two. The first season took place in kind of an Arctic uh, base. Um, the same premise, of battling a, um, a disease... But, uh, you know, like the layers of an onion peeled away, it, is, uh, it keeps revealing more and more uh, very kind of frightening, uh, disorienting detail. And this uh, second season is, is no exception. It is also okay. like an since, onion. Since the CDC is so, so current, so relevant in a sense, yeah. is that what you guys are sh maybe showing us? Not, not necessarily that this is happening but the premise of how the CDC is working. So you're showing us this in real time. Because I was thinking about your show, Helix, this morning, when I looked at an Ebola, you know, the, the outbreak has worsened. And the CDC in America really, I think they did a good job in dealing with that. So are you guys as timely in the show, in a sense? Or you guys just want to stretch it out for a season for us to have something to watch? <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is that uh, when, when the show and this season was conceived of, uh, I don't think the... Um, the Ebola uh, issue had even uh, reared its head. I think it's just a kind of an unfortunate uh, coincidence. Uh, the CDC is, uh, it turns out, incredibly effective at doing their job. If they weren't, I think we'd be in way worse shape than we are. Uh, that uh, the, uh, the actual organization is being used for a sci-fi premise, I think is very smart. Um, timely? Well, perhaps. I think, again, that's a, a coincidence. There's always been uh, diseases and outbreaks and things, and um, and there's you know there's there's been a lot of uh, recent uh, books and uh, films that talk about the kind of dis uh, the the possibilities of a real scary outbreak. But uh, I think we should all be grateful for the Center for Disease Control. I agree with you. We should be grateful for Helix because it's a very enjoyable show. It's something you have to stay with. So I need yeah. to go back and watch season one. But yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I like intelligent shows. I really do. So thank you so much for doing a great job. Tell us when you want us to watch Helix. On this, I think you're on Sci-Fi. Uh, we're uh, Fridays at uh, 10 p.m. on Sci-Fi. Well, you're my Friday guilty pleasure now, Stephen Weber. Thank you so very thank much you. for being my guest today on the Belder BB Show. My pleasure.